My name is Ahmed Ghazi, and I am the Director of Mineral Invasive and Robotic Surgery at the Brady Urological Institute at Johns Hopkins. I specialize in the minimal invasive treatment of various urological diseases, including kidney cancer, prostate cancer, complex stone disease, and also benign prostate enlargement. And when I refer to minimal invasive approach, it's really not only decreasing the size of the incision and adding miniature endoscopes or instruments to do the procedure, but it also involves really minimizing the disruption of healthy tissue that is required for us to reach the target organ and treat the disease. So not only does it lead to improved patient outcomes, but it also leads to a more rapid recovery. A very good example of that is, for example, treatment of prostate cancer, for which the Brady Urological Institute is world-renowned in its approaches to not only maximize the cure or the treatment of the cancer, but also benefit and preserve a lot of the functionality in many men. This was done through a large abdominal incision. Now it's being done through six small incisions using a da Vinci robot. And that robot enables us not only to do the procedure more effectively, but also leads to a very rapid recovery for patients. My research focuses on the perfection of surgical care using transformative, innovative approaches. There's a question that a lot of my patients ask me when I'm counseling them for surgery, is how many of these procedures have you done or have you done this procedure before? And regardless of my response, which usually is above their expectations, I've actually never done their case. So they are truly amazed when I show them one of these. This is an actual replica of one of my patient's kidneys with a tumor that we developed in my lab from their imaging, from their CT scan. It is far more revolutionary that we are able to create a replica of a patient's kidney with the tumor that looks, feels, and actually acts like a real tumor because these are vessels that when we perfuse blood through it, it will actually bleed. So this enables the surgeon to be able to perform and practice the procedure. So my response to the patients is, I have actually done your exact procedure before your case. In a study that we did where we took 100 complex kidney masses and had surgeons practice their case beforehand, we found out that it not only improved surgeon confidence, but it also decreased complication, the cancer margin rates, and also hospital stay. So this is truly an innovation that is able to transform surgical care. Taking it either even further, we're able to personalize surgical care. This is another of my patients that actually had prostate cancer, and this model was developed from their MRI. And if you look here, you'll find on the left side that the cancer is not sticking out as far, while on the right side, it is extending significantly into the surrounding tissues. Now, this is not evident when we do the procedure. So being able to practice on this model before the case enables me to, on the left side, preserve as many nerves as I can, so preserving their postoperative erections, while on the right side, going wide to prevent a positive margin. And this is personalizing surgical care, not only for every patient, but for each side of a single patient. And this is only present at the Brady Urological Institute at Johns Hopkins. My philosophy for patient care is one that focuses mainly on the patient. You know, in medicine, we are taught to actually categorize diseases, stages into really buckets because that's how we treat our patients. You have low grade versus high grade versus intermediate grade. And unfortunately, because it's a habit, we tend to do the same thing with patients, is categorize them into groups. But I believe that we should not do that and we do a disservice to our patients by doing so, is that every single patient has a certain need and a certain set of needs that we need to cater to. And my philosophy really focuses on patient-centered care.